Scammers are getting smarter with ways to try and trick you. The FBI warns that criminals are cloning your loved one's voices to call and demand money. Fox 13 News reporter Emily Tenser sat down with older adults to talk about AI and these latest scams. She shows us just how common this technology is becoming. Since the dawn of the phone. When I was growing up, I mean, it was the dial telephone. And before that, it was the old crank telephone. It's an all too common trick. I had an individual say, oh, we got your son down there in Mexico and, 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 and would you pay so much money to, to get him out? Phone scams where tricksters fake a dire situation and call a loved one asking for money. I would never trust them. I would never trust anybody that does something like that. But scammers are getting smarter. Just this month, Utahns are getting calls where their sounds played in the background, making a pretend injury sound believable. There's a person in the background screaming, crying, hyperventilating. He thought it was me. They knew our names. They were calling me by my name and by his name. Taylorsville police have heard about scams from other local departments where even real recordings are part of the scheme. The people did think that, that their child was with the kidnappers because they had some kind of audio from, from a video or something like that. Oh, 69. Older Utahns have been taught to be on their guard for such calls. I read these articles about it and I can kind of keep an eye on it. But the FBI warns we're entering a new era where AI is used for this very thing. There's no sort of turning back the clock on this. You know, now that the technology is out there, you know, even if you pass laws, it's not very easy for, you know, to actually rein this in. Jason Weiss is an assistant professor at the School of Computing at the University of Utah. This year, social media saw an AI boom. The latest tech is even stumping Gen Zers who are supposed to be pros at this stuff, getting tricked by fake photos of the Pope in a puffer or Selena Gomez at this year's Met Gala that she didn't even attend. In my field, this is sort of, we've seen this coming for a long time that this was this was going to happen. It was going to hit and have a significant impact. They're called deep fakes, an image or recording convincingly altered and manipulated to misrepresent someone as doing or saying something that was not actually done or said. Like a modern day Ursula, scammers are stealing people's voices and calling vulnerable older relatives for money. It's just creepy gives me the creeps. I'm going to show you just how eerily easy it is. I downloaded an AI app and just recorded my voice reading a report here at Fox 13. Before I add my voice, it does send a message to use the app ethically and not in any way that can harm others. Now I'm going to type a script as if I'm a scammer trying to trick my grandma. Hey grandma, this is Emily. I need some help. And again, I never recorded myself saying that. It's all AI mimicking my voice. The only tell is that it's a little robotic. Even if there's a tell today, you know, it may not be something that exists tomorrow as the technology sort of continues to improve. The Salt Lake County Aging and Adult Services is constantly educating older Utahns on what to watch out for. The best thing to do is to hang up the phone and then call that loved one back from your own cell phone on their saved contact information. So if you post videos on public social media accounts, be aware that someone could use that audio to trick your loved ones. They are, again, often the targets of these types of scams, and um, it's really important that we we protect them. There's so much evil that's creeping into our society. You have to be so careful about what you're doing anymore. Emily Tenser, Fox 13 News, Utah.